Oh, God. See these, these poles. I've put WD-40 on them. I've slowly undone them and undone them. I don't think they've been off in years and years and years and years. Anyway, basically we've moved away from the engine compartment and onto the back axle and the first thing we're going to do is check the brakes out. So I've jacked the bus up um, and I've jacked it up on the axle. I'll show you later how I've jacked it and where I've jacked it. First of all, to get it high enough, because it's double decker, it has a very low back axle, low riding back axle. So to get it high enough to be able to work easily, I've actually driven it up on a set of blocks here that allows you to get it maybe eight inches, nine inches off the ground, so it's easier to get the jack underneath to lift it up. And I'm going to block the bus as well as with the jack. Now normally you would jack a vehicle up and then put blocks under the back axle before you took the wheels off. Because obviously if I take the wheels off and the jack collapses, then the bus is going to fall down. And the jack is a mechanical device and mechanical devices can go wrong. The next job, before the wheel comes off, we've taken off the wheel nuts and loosened them all except for two, top and bottom, just to hold the wheels in place in case something goes wrong with the jack. But now we're going to put blocks underneath and then the bus will be safe to take the bus off. Then we'll get back when we get some blocks. Okay, here we are underneath the truck. I've jacked up the back axle using a piece of wood on the top. You can see that piece of wood is starting to split and the jack is actually at a bit of an angle but a couple more pushes and I'll have it all blocked up safely. And the wood that I'll cut out, these bits of wood here and here, are going to be my blocks. So I'll get this all blocked up and then I'll film it to show you what I've done. See you in a minute. Okay, we've got all the chocks in place as we go back underneath the truck. There it is, the back wheel. So, look, and now we've got wooden chocks supported on the axle there. Okay, the wheel's off the ground. The jack is in place, but it's been let down, so there's no pressure on the hydraulics. So we're just keeping it in place because why let it down? Because we've got to pump it up again. So, it's actually been slacked off. And over on that side we have another block. Okay, looks like a bit of a slope, but don't let that worry you, it's because the land is on a bit of a slope and that's as safe as it gets. So no worries. Okay, we'll take these wheels off first, check the brakes, and then we're going to take off those wheels over there and check the brakes. Check and adjust. And then we'll take it all down again. So I'll take you through it and I'll show you the different bits. As you can see, it's a very low, um, a low hung vehicle. I don't know what they call that. It's a um, low hung back axle or something. It's in order to be able to keep a lot of the weight as low as possible. Very short prop shaft, which runs through to the gearbox on the back of the vehicle. We've got the wheels off, and now we can see what's what. Under through there is the braking system, the back spring, and we can slowly work through the back axle, do all the oils, and then tidy up this wheel arch. That's the chassis running through there, look. Tidy it all up, and then we'll know that the brakes are fully adjusted and work perfectly on this side. And then we do exactly the same on the other side. So first of all we're going to let the handbrake off, which is on at the moment. And we're going to need to build up some air pressure to 
because the brakes have actuators which means if there's not enough air they stay on and it's the air that lets them off which means that if you have an air leak you haven't got a problem because the brakes will come on automatically.